Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day and another awesome video. Uh, we actually might get some rain over the next 24 hours. So sometimes we lose power uh, when we get a rainstorm. So um, all of my batteries, I'll show you to them. I have four uh, Harbor Freight 35 amp hour batteries. Um, that's 420 watt hour batteries. And if the power goes out, I would like to be able to run a couple items, like a TV and stuff, so we're not bored if the power goes out. The wind's already starting to pick up, so sorry about the wind noise. But these Harbor Freight uh, batteries are AGM, and when they're fully charged, they're, uh, they read about a 3-point, I mean, sorry, a 13.1 voltage, so... I only drain them halfway, which is good for your solar batteries to drain halfway. So I'm going to take a couple readings here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Yeah, I think you can see that. Okay, so like I was saying, these Harbor Freight uh, 35 amp hour batteries, when they're fully charged, um, have about 13.1 volts I've, I've found over using them so let's check the first battery I only drain them about halfway and I have found that halfway is about 12.3 uh, volts so that one's pretty close 12.4 12.5 second one is at 12.3 so I've used that down to half charged and the next one is at 12.3 12.4 and you shouldn't take them any lower than a half a charge that one's about 12.4 12.5 like the first one you shouldn't take them uh, lower than about half a charge um, because they'll last a lot longer on the recharge and discharge recharge discharge cycles so here I have my stockpile of solar panels. I actually have uh, eight 25 watt Harbor Freight Thunderbolt solar panels. And I have six 15 watt Harbor Freight solar panels. Um, that gives me a total of uh, 290 watts of solar. Um, I only count on with the sun direction, I think I'm gonna set them up here, uh, getting maybe 200 watts here so so it's gonna take a couple hours to charge my batteries so let's get to setting them up so I'm gonna I'm gonna set them up in a couple rows and just see what we get here I'll edit this for time they're dirty from the last sprinkle they got so the sun's out that that way Sun's out that way, so let's just get a few of these set up, and then I'll cut and set them all up. Okay, so I've set all my solar panels out. I've got 100 watts back there, 100 watts here, 45 watts there, and 45 back there. And I've put all the wiring ends up here for now, because I'm going to hose them off real quick and uh, clean them up so they perform a little better. Alright, so they're already looking a lot better. I'm just going to dry them all off with a microfiber towel real quick. Just to clean them up a little bit. Alright, so next, here's the Harbor Freight Hub. So it has eight inputs and uh, one output. So let's go hook all the panels up to it. I want to get these all charged up before... Uh, it's perfectly sunny right now, but... They said by 7 o'clock tonight we'd have a startup chance of rain. 
I have really nice on ends and I don't know if you can see me this far away, but it's really hard to mess up um, how you hook these up in here. There's only one way they'll go. All right, now I'm gonna grab the charge controller and two of my batteries. Here's a good tip. Always hook your charge controller. Always hook your charge controller up to your batteries first. And then give it the power from the sun. And then when you have two or more batteries, you're going to want to hook the negative up to the first battery, let's call it, and the positive up to the last battery because I'm going to run these in parallel and charge two batteries at once. So you'll see how my connection finishes here. Hooking that one, the negative up to this one, and this will complete the circuit on the batteries. Hook that one, that's not very good, get on there, up to this one. And the charge controller came on, and just like it said earlier, these batteries are reading about 12 and a half volts and then the final thing on the output here of all the solar panel I'm going to hook up the charge controller and we've instantly jumped up to 13.4 volts 13.5 it'll probably go as high as 14 volts but these batteries are uh, about half drained, so I'd say about 200 watts are out of them. I'm saying I'm getting about 200 watts of solar. So probably in an hour and a half or two hours, I'll come back and check these batteries. And then I'll charge the other two. It's early in the afternoon, the sun's high, so... Okay, so that's my simple little video on hooking up my Harbor Freight AGM batteries uh, to my Harbor Freight Thunderbolt solar panels through the hub and into I think that's a 35 amp hour uh, charge controller from Harbor Freight also and then this way when the storm comes in tonight if I need any power to keep watching TV run a computer charge our phones or anything I've got plenty of battery power to do that that's pretty cool. Okay, so currently this is reading, I don't know if you can see that or not, 13.8 volts. And all the panels, if I get out of the way, are getting some sun. All right, I'm going to end my video here, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.